I don't know how many of you heard this yet, but today we got the news that Michael Brooks passed away. Um, Michael Brooks was a great guy. He's the host of the Michael Brooks show. He um, works on the Majority Report as well. And um, he's one of the guys who's in this media space who like truly, genuinely, without a doubt, cares about the issues and cares about creating a better world. And um, he was deeply, deeply committed to what he would describe as an internationalist socialist future. He wanted to improve the planet for everybody. He wanted all the stuff that we talk about all the time on, on my show, Medicare for All, Free College, Living Wage, Ending the Wars, um, and all forms of discrimination. He was a, a, just a really nice guy. And um, it, this is a shock to everybody. Uh, I'm just as shocked as everybody else is. I mean, I don't know his exact age, but I can't imagine he's... He's around my age, so he's either maybe a little younger, or a little older, but whatever it is, uh, it was very sudden and shocking. Uh, I don't know exactly what the cause is, and, um, you know, even if I did, I don't know if sharing it publicly would be something that his, his family would want, and I would obviously respect their wishes and respect the wishes of his, you know, closest friends as to how to proceed. But it's just a very sad day, and he was a very powerful, influential, independent, left-wing, new media voice. It was very recently, feels like yesterday, that him and I were, um, we went to Yale together to speak um, at a Students for Bernie event, and it was a great time. We spoke for a couple hours, and, you know, there were people in the audience, we took pictures with them. Him and I drove all the way up there together and drove back together. And, um, you know, having a, the conversation with him in the car, he's a very easy guy to talk to who's genuinely interested in a lot of things and genuinely curious about, you know, what your take is. And what I'm seeing on social media now is everybody has a similar story. Everybody, you know, reports that he's a really nice guy and... He, uh, he was willing to give people a chance and give people a shot with the platform that he created. He took many young leftists and gave them a voice, gave them a more prominent platform where uh, their opinions could be heard. He worked closely with Jacobin and um, he had a show with Anna Kasparian over there, which had just started recently. So I'm just as floored. I'm just as shocked as everybody else. And you know, listen, when I was 23 years old, I lost my dad, uh, which, you know, that's pretty young age to, to lose a parent. And the thing about death that's, I don't even know the right word for it, you, you feel totally helpless in reacting to it. Like, what can you do? You feel like you're like in a movie and you're just watching the world pass you by and stuff happens and you're just totally powerless to really impact it and to stop bad things from happening. And I remember that feeling back in 2011 and it's something that I feel right now. You know, it. this horrendous thing happened, this young man with a really bright future ahead um, passes away and we all feel totally helpless and we feel like it's a bad dream and we're just passengers in a car watching the world go by and we don't know quite how to digest it. We don't know, um, how to handle it. And, you know, people process things like this in, in different ways. But, um, one thing I know for sure is that <laughs> what Michael would want more than anything else is for people to stay committed to the same project that he was working on. Stay committed to trying to make the world a better place and stay committed to building institutions that will last, that'll last well beyond um, you and me and all of us and this generation. And um, 
that's the best way to honor his memory is to, uh, you know, do your best to carry that message on. And of course, my condolences go out to all of his very close friends, the people he was closest with and to, um, to his family. And, you know, this one's going to sting for quite a while. This one's quite a shock to the system because, you know, listen, I'd be lying to you guys if, if, if I didn't say that you, you look at a guy like that, I see me and him. That's me. That's me. That's David Pakman. That's, you know, we're all about the same age in the same profession. And it's like, oh, that's so that that's something that happens. That could just happen. Wow. OK. Um, so it's a scary thought. It's terrifying and it's absolutely heartbreaking. And there will be a void in the media sphere now. And uh, there's nothing I could say or do that would fix that or change that. So carry on his legacy by continuing to fight to make the world a better place. And um, rest in peace and rest in power, Michael.